I just started my entomology class today, so be prepared to get a lot of videos about bugs. But let's talk about the mealy bugs or the cochineal beetles. So this is the cochineal beetle. It is a type of kind of mealy bug. Those, you know, those really annoying things you get on like plants all the time and they're really hard to get rid of. This is one that's kind of grown on purpose. So these are actually domesticated, which is very interesting because people don't often talk about domesticated insects. So these ones specifically like the prickly pear cactus, all that white kind of gunk there. That are those beetles. That is those beetles. Words are working. So these bugs are used to make a very vibrant red dye, kind of like the shirt I'm wearing. Um, this shirt is not made from cochineal dye, but lots of other things are. So the red cochineal dye is used in things like the red Smarties. If you're Canadian, these are the real Smarties as well as some cosmetics like lipsticks, as well as formerly used in a Starbucks strawberry drink before people were like, hey, what the fuck, it's this, we don't want that. And so it was used, it was switched to more synthetic dyes to make it pink, but it used to use bugs. So the cochineal beetles are native to areas in South America and Mexico. The first ever, like, Traces of them in the historical record were from Peru. So these guys were first domesticated by the Aztec people in South and Central America. But when the Spanish came to South and Central America and started causing all of their problems, they were like, oh shit, we really like this red dye. Because at the time in Europe and most of the rest of the world, there wasn't a really good bright red dye available like is produced with the cochineal bugs so among other things they did in the americas they also took a complete mon mon uh, monopoly over the red dye production however the rest of the world wasn't really a fan of that they were like hey share your red dye and they kind of vaguely knew that it came from the americas so other countries, including the British, sent spies down there to figure out where the red dye came from and to steal the red dye secrets. And they did. They found out, like, hey, it comes from these bugs, and they used it in a bunch of other things, including the iconic British red coats, which were dyed red in order to make you not see the blood, I guess. So the prickly pear, along with the cochineal bugs were widely spread over a lot of areas which started to cause problems because the um, prickly pear became invasive in lots of areas including Australia where at some one point the prickly pear thicket was so bad that you couldn't even get through because it's a shit ton of cacti and you don't really want to be walking through that so yeah that caused a lot of problems so yeah if you have red smarties or red lipstick or other red cosmetics there's a high chance that it came from bugs <laughs>